fixing to do some truck stop surgery. Got uh, this fuel line used to go to this filter, and it's got you know too many patches, kinked, looks terrible. It's soft, like it's caving in. Uh, you know, it's kinked right there, and the truck isn't running right. So I'm going to, uh, to replace it. You know, the bad thing is going to make it. There's the new line. Um, that's a new fuel filter. Good paper towels. Receipt for part of it. Um, I know my camera's all over the place. So quit your whining. I got to get my stuff out. I got a gallon of fuel to fill the filters up. Here's the ends. Um, save the bags. I'll need it for trash. But these ends. thing you do is you get your flip easy spray that hose down real good and the first fitting goes on backwards I've never done one of these before they're really kind of pain in the ass and the trick is not to crank it down so far that. I don't know if you can see that. It's not quite to this bevel because then what it does is it crimps it. You can't get your other end in. More slip easy. You're not worrying about hurting anything. And then you take this one and it goes in here and then it just kind of splares everything up. Tighten that until it bottoms out. That one to that one. Two fittings, eight feet of hose, one fuel filter, 90 bucks. Alright, I'm under the truck. That's the fuel line up there. Can't see it in this damn darkness. Right there. Not that one there, that one there. I gotta undo it, and then my new one is laying right up on top of that transmission. I gotta drag it back here and uh, get it swapped out, and uh, hopefully get this thing up and going today. You know, in the next few minutes, anyways. I got the end under the truck done. This is the new end. I got to chop it with this little hacksaw I bought. And then I got to take that fitting loose and snake this one around. Probably cut that out there. And then we'll change the old fill filter again and try it all over. Alright. I tried to cut that with a hacksaw. Fat chance. I didn't do nothing but nick the covering. Nick the covering on the hose over here. And this hose is so freaking thick. So I'm going to just loop this around and hook it up. But for right now, what I got to do is fill this line up with that diesel fuel. It won't take the port. But that'll keep it from trying to pull it, you know, uh, eight feet. And that'll help a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, here's the new fitting. I had to route the hose around. 
up under the frame because it's too long, so I had to make do. I spun a new filter, a new gasket on, and we fixed them to. I don't want junk picked up, most of it anyways. I'm fixing to, uh, I got my can of adrenaline, just in case. If it doesn't have any air in it, it should fire itself right back up. Yep. Still got a little air in here. Thump, 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 thump. That, that'll clear up. Alright. Good to go, I guess.